morning. I haven't vlogged all week because I'm useless. No, I've actually just been ridiculously hectic. Like, I can't explain how hectic I have been. I've just washed my hair. I've got in the pump thickening mask right now. I'm really loving the mask from pump, so I thought I'd leave it in and try to leave it in all day and all night because <laughs> you can leave it on overnight. And I was going to just leave my hair till the morning to wash it, but I was like, eh, it's very sweaty. I've had a good week of workouts. I've worked out every single day, Monday through Friday. So I did cardio and I burnt like almost 700 cows. It was hectic. I did like mass incline. I've been updating you guys all over on Shanexo Fit on Instagram. I'm just going to moisturize my face. I've just been using my Toucha lately, Dewy Skin Cream. Put it all down my neck as well. And I've got some pretty bad hair at the moment. And my eyes are a little bit like dry. So I've been putting those eye drops in. Oh, what a struggle. I love this moisturizer so much. All right, we are clean, fresh and ready to go. I've got a couple of packages that came that include some protein. Hold on, I need to turn this down so I don't get copyrighted. I also filmed a PR haul, hence the reason my rooms are let me see that's on it, the list to do need to clean my beauty room, need to clean out the pantry. Today my co-star app said clean out something forgotten and dusty 24 minutes ago. So I was like, all right, I'll take it to heart. Where's the boy? He must have snuck into my bedroom. Oh, there he is. You in here? What are you doing? Why is it so dark? Here we go. Now we can see you. Hello. There's my Zeus. How's my Zeusy? A bit hot. It's a bit of a hot day. Oh, you need another haircut. I feel like it's an endless cycle with you. Your hair just grows so quick. Is it all that good food you eat? All right, let's open some packages. Because I thought I'd open these on vlog rather than on my unboxing video. Oh my god, how vintage are these blankets? Not vintage, but you know, like 90s. This is Hamish's, I'm pretty sure. Or was it mine? I can't even remember whose it was, but it was either mine or Hamish's from way back before we even got together. And it's still going strong. I swear these things will be around after the apocalypse. So one of these packages I purchased and one of them is something that just got sent to me. So the stuff I purchased is this Happy Way protein. Ashy Binds did a collab and her little video kept coming up on my ads on Facebook of her collab. You guys know me and Facebook ads, like they trick me every time. And they're going on about how it's like the most delicious protein in the whole wide world. So I picked up two. I got the triple chalk fudge and it's vegan. So I thought that'd be really cool to try because most of mine is like whey, which is like, isn't it like milk? Um, so it'd be interesting to see if the vegan stuff is even more gentle on my stomach. Not like Lux Fitness Protein isn't. And I think Lux does actually do vegan ones, but whatever. I just thought I'd try a new brand, Pasture Fed Whey. So yeah, if you're wondering how much calories are up per 30 gram serve, 105 in the chocolate and um, what's that? Just over maybe about 110 in this one approximately. And then for this one, the carbs are 3.8. For this one, the carbs are 3.9. So I will not be having the full 30 gram serve when I have this one. I'd have a half serve like what I do with my Lux just cause on like the way I eat keto, we watch how many carbs we have a day. And then this came from Lux. I purchased this. Happy Galentine's Day. We hope you love the new limited edition protein flavor. Ooh. Raspberry white chocolate, yum. So this one in comparison, per 30 grams, which is once again, two scoops, the same amount of calories, 100 and like 117. So these are both the exact same calories. And then the carbs in this one, 4.4 grams. So just over two grams per serving for me. But if you're having the full two scoops, then you have four grams. Yeah, I always have it. So I have in my smoothie, roughly 50 to 60 calories through my protein and roughly two to three grams of carbs. That's just mumbo jumbo to a lot of you. I am well aware. So without further ado, oh my God. You just dragged the slide from the lounge. What you got there? See your octopus? It's so funny when he walks around with it. Get it. He's busy. All right, I'm gonna make a smoothie and then I'm gonna get stuck into some editing. I need to like get some editing done before I do any cleaning. I'm hoping I actually have time to clean because right now, like I've done the gym, I've done some work, I've done some phone stuff 
and it's already 11 30. so the day is disappearing on me so i think i might do a chocolate smoothie you guys know i'm not the most massive chocolate fan but every now and then i crave chocolate I don't know what it is. Why? Hormones? I don't know. So this is a vegan one, once again. Oh god, it's gonna go everywhere. The bench is filthy already. All right, so this is a big scoop. So one scoop will be one serving. See that? And then this is a 30 gram scoop. So two of them is one of them. So I just do one of the half scoops. So I'm gonna do a single scoop. And let me just check my fats as well. So we'll wait. <laughs> to see so one scoop that's only 18 grams so you want a slightly heaped one i guess i just tried the protein by itself and it tastes really good so this one has pea protein which is vegan it's got rice protein for lowering it blood sugar cacao which is the chocolatey taste and it's also got a lot of like antioxidants and stuff in it coconut flour for healthy poop Chia seeds for antioxidants, psyllium husk, which is really good for fiber as well, maca, which is really good for hormones, stevia, which is sweetener, thalmatin, extra protein sweetness, I don't know what that is, and then rock salt, Himalayan rock salt, which is what I usually use in my food anyway. So I'm really hoping I get time to clean out the pantry because I'm really excited to organize everything. I got all these trays off Kmart and they arrived, I don't know, like a week ago or so. I'm gonna have to have like an entire shelf dedicated to my protein. I have been getting through my protein like pretty good, pretty quick because of all this friggin' smoothie business. All right, I've written down all my smoothies off my plan. So which one am I gonna do? I might do my avocado one because um, it's Valentine's Day while I'm filming this, yay. So um, I'm probably just gonna have this as my like early lunch and then have dinner and not have a third meal because we're having a cheat meal tonight. It's still keto, but we're gonna have like a creamy keto pasta, which is gonna be like higher macros than what I would normally eat. So if I have a really, like this is my most filling smoothie. It keeps me full like all day anyway. Like when I have this, I always have to force myself to eat again because it just keeps me going with my energy. So I'm gonna have this and then I'm gonna have a early dinner with Hamish. Um, so yeah, and maybe some chocolate or something. Cause you know, Valentine's Day, keto chocolate, it's still chocolate. There's only one avocado left, so half an avocado. All right, I'm gonna speed the rest of this up. If you want the recipe, you can find it on my highlights on Shenik So Fit, and it's the one that has half an avocado in it. So you could see that the protein didn't mix up properly at the bottom, which is my own fault. Usually I put the protein in after I've done quite a bit of liquid so that it doesn't just stick to the bottom. So I'll just manually get in there. So the smoothie is so thick and creamy. Holy shit. Let's try it. Mmm, it's pretty good. I feel like it's not, like the protein's not as sweet as Lux, so it's a little bit more subtle in, t in the flavor like yeah less sweet i'll have to try it alone as well like when i next try it alone i'll vlog it for you just so that if you're wondering because i know a lot of people prefer it alone that's thick i might have to add some more water to it and re-blend it once i drink some <laughs> all right i'm gonna go edit it's time i've edited tomorrow's video i've been uploading sometimes tuesday thursday saturday rather than monday wednesday friday just depends how my schedule goes because i've been so freaking busy lately it's not ideal. Um, so here's the before of the pantry. I am going to do it in fast forward, but I'll put music over the video because I want to listen to music while I'm doing it because it's going to take ages. Um, I know there would be so many good fast forward sounds, but I yeah, just really, really want to listen to some music and get pumped up. So 
Um, I'll show you what I've purchased to organize the like area with. Um, I did do this a while ago on my vlogs, probably like a year ago even, maybe a little bit longer. And it's just slowly got out of control once again. So we need to, you know, get that under control again. Hi, you boy. You little panda bear. So I purchased a bunch of these off Kmart. I'll show you close up when I'm using them. Um, but yeah, heaps of these, if you want to look them up on the website. And then some of these bigger roller storage things. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to trial and error it. Um, and I'll show you guys at the very end what I've done with each of these, but I'm going to use some of those with stuff that needs to be kind of contained into one area. And yeah, maybe declutter a few things that we don't need. We'll see. We shall see. I'm done. So, down the bottom, this is Hamish's protein. They're huge. So, they live down there. Um, spare soda water, spare cashew, spare hot sauces and things and baking stuff that I don't use very often. At the back, we've got spare, like, almond flour in there. We had so many unopened bags that I didn't even know we had. So, that's good because we always buy it by accident because we're like, oh, we might need that, but we never do. Back there, we've got spare sauces. So, like, mayo, aioli, some tomato sauces spare coffee, spare gherkins, spare olives. And then up here we have stuff that we reach for a lot in here, seasonings. Then over here we have backup um, pre-workouts and collagen and just my unopened protein in there. I'll probably wait till I get through some more of those luxe ones before I open up that banana one. We've got some like red wine vinegar and white wine vinegar at the back there that I don't use very often. Um, unused vitamins and stuff that I still want to keep and like backup vitamins. At the back there, there's like unopened vinegar that we use to make eggs and stuff like that. There's like three bottles, so that'll last for a while. Then we've got canned food that we don't reach for at the moment because of keto, but it's pretty much like baked beans, pineapple, and tinned tomatoes. And then dog treats. So all of that stuff from like there over is like backups and stuff we don't really reach for and dog stuff. And then that's easy to pull out. It's got like three sections because um, we use this like every single day. It's on like wheels and then we use that obviously every day. Up here normally we would have way more coconut cream and coconut milk. Um, just we need to do a shop. There's salmon. Then cooking stuff that we use all the time. So ghee, oils, like we put this one in our smoothies. There's some hemp oil I put in smoothies and then olive oil for cooking. And then um, apple cider vinegar and white vinegar at the back that I have often too. Eggs. And then up here we have supplements. Um... And then more supplements, but more for when we're sick at the back there that we don't use as often. Teas that are opened, more teas that are opened. At the very bottom, I have heaps of backup tea as well. I've got heaps of like peppermint tea still in the wrapper. These, because we use them like every day, cinnamon and vanilla essence, or no, vanilla extract. Then we've got drinks, so like coffee drinks, sugar free tea, sugar free flavoring, coffee, 
and then up here we've got some flavorings and then some baking stuff through there that I don't reach for a whole lot but sometimes then we've got some nuts keto fettuccine stuff like that some spreads which once again we don't really use and then up here's the stuff we use the least plus like heaps of nuts um, and then and then there and then rice for the dogs which we give Lou when he's got an upset stomach sometimes he gets like real bit anxiety and he gets like constipated and shit so we just um feed him like rice and chicken so that's just for them we've got some snacks for friends we've got some more nuts we've got some noodles and stuff that we obviously don't eat but I mean they last forever so they can just sit up there in case our friends want them when they're over or something and yeah so pretty much like most of the food we eat on the daily is out of the fridge because it's like vegetables and meats and then we've got some fats eggs and then obviously protein we have every single day pre-workout like chia seeds um turmeric fat burner that i don't really use but i want to try i think this is like unopened and there's also like a joseph rackage one my magnesium I have each night and I mix these in with it. You guys have seen that. Good green stuff which Hamish has. Um, electrolytes. Like this is all stuff that we have like every day for supplements and seasonings. So yeah, most used. This section, this section, and then the seasonings. Everything else is like rare. Oh, I suppose we use coffee all the time too. I don't really reach for this very often, but they do come in handy. Like this is all like stuff for keto cooking. So there's like sugar-free baking bits, stevia, monk fruit almond meal, psyllium husk, baking powder, like all that kind of thing in there. So yeah, just good stuff to have in the cupboard in case I feel like baking something keto or whatever. We've got shitloads of backup pre-workout and things in there, which is good. And we've got one backup collagen, unflavored collagen. I've got no renew, but that's all right. And this is actually like not a backup. This is almost empty. I might actually just sit here. It doesn't fit. I'm sad about it. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it here. There we go. So yeah, that's all new, and then that's all new. Hopefully that makes sense. So everything that we need is basically like here. I know it's not as fancy as some people's like organization pantries, but um, for us it works much tidier. I got rid of a whole lot of like expired stuff that was sitting in the backs of the cupboards. Um, so that's good. I feel bad though. That's why I need to do this more often so that I know what I have so I don't like buy too much, you know? It's so easy to be like, oh yeah, we've run out of so-and-so. And not actually realize that you've like stuffed it at the back of a friggin cupboard somewhere. I'm going to be pretty useless if we do have an apocalypse. Because I've only got like two cans of baked beans, two cans of tomatoes, some bamboo, <laughs> soda water. <laughs> oh gosh. And we've got heaps of Tupperware I need to clean. If you can hear that beeping, it's the dishwasher by the way. I'm about to empty it and then load in all this Tupperware. This has all had like old, old, old nuts and pasta and crackers and stuff. Literally, like, probably been sitting there for a year and a half. I just binge them, and I'm going to run them through the dishwasher and put them away. No wonder I have thought we had no Tupperware for ages now. Dinner didn't work out because we were going to cook this chicken pasta meal. We couldn't find the pasta, the keto pasta. So we've got here panir sag. So this is a cheat meal. We have a chicken entree. Just plain. There's a little bit of carbs in that one, but... Um, yeah, I've had this in the past and still standing ketosis. I just asked the guy that works, like, that cooks the meals at our local Indian place what has, like, no added sugar and no excess sugar. And he, like, was really nice and he, like, ticked them all on the, like, little takeout menu. And he's like, these ones are fine, they're low sugar, these ones are high sugar, you know. Paneer sag or chicken sag is so good. And a lower sugar option, especially if you're like me and, you know, don't have many carbs throughout the rest of the day. So, yum. Gonna enjoy this. Me and Hamish gonna play some games and have a chill night. Whoa, what a day. Okay, it's Monday. <gasps> what a weekend. I'm so low on my B12. It's booked for tomorrow. I'm exhausted all the freaking time. Lethargic, blurry eyes, the whole shebang. So, woo. Went to the gym this morning. Did an hour of cardio. It didn't go as hard as I'd have liked to, but it was still a really good workout. And then I got home made my smoothie, did some editing, rushed out to an appointment, to a meeting. So I just finished up with that and it is now two o'clock. So I'm gonna make some quick eggs for lunch and just make this vlog a bit interesting because I feel like I've just completely skimped out by the time like half my cooking didn't end up happening and um, like, I missed my smoothie this morning, like all these things. There's some packages outside. Um, yeah, I haven't even showered yet. <laughs> that was good, I had to go to my meeting like sweaty. I'm in shambles. I have actually been chatting to my accountant today about getting on a like personal assistant kind of thing. 
I know a lot of like my friends here on YouTube have personal assistants just to help them with like tasks to do with YouTube, Instagram, to help around the house, like to help with recycling, to help with all these kind of mundane tasks and also like I have obviously my other business EXO Beauty and my mum's kind of doing some more of her own business stuff soon so we're gonna have some more space for work there as well so I'm kind of like you know if I can get someone to help me out and to help out there it would be really good um because honestly I've just been flooded that's why last week I had like no vlog up I feel really bad about it but life's just been crazy and I'm trying to plan a wedding and like there's just so many things happening and I've been trying to prioritize like my fitness my health my eating I've been trying to prioritize keeping the house a little bit tidier because I feel much better and less anxious when the house is a bit tidier and I'm not a tidy person you know but I'm trying like I've been prioritizing organizing my clothes and tidying up all that stuff and I just did a declutter and now my filming rooms are pigsty so I want to prioritize cleaning that up so that when I go to film next like I'm filming in a nice clean space but right now I'm editing so I have a video ready for today I'll probably get it up tomorrow because you guys know if I miss like Monday Wednesday Friday I'll do like Tuesday Thursday Saturday instead so I'm still getting those three videos up but it gives me like a bit of time to move on Mondays because whoa there's so much to catch up on I just finished up my emails that didn't take too long I have to pay my GST pay my bills all these things so <laughs> all the boring stuff no one cares about but it's just the reality of my life so yeah like I said I just got back from my meeting well technically like 15 minutes ago did my emails and here we are my workout gear today is white false boutique i um did do a try on haul trying on all of this stuff recently it's up on my youtube channel went up on like saturday this is really cute white false boutique and then this top's like super old from nike literally i'm talking probably about six or seven years old um let me go get these packages oh we've got like box things i need to go over to like all of these like prototypes the XO Beauty like there's so much stuff to do so I filmed a trial I mean not trial haul what a unboxing haul on Friday so you guys wouldn't have seen that just yet probably so going to just open these parcels that just arrived I've got some clothing ones too but I'll open them on Instagram I thought I'd just open these ones with you now quickly because then I can do the rest. Why are there two boxes inside each other? Okay, so this is from House Labs. Matte lip crayons by Lady Gaga. Oh my god, cute, look. So that's the packaging. Cool, they remind me of the bite ones. That's quite cool. I'll have to give them a golden video. Thumbnail. Can I throw it for you? Ready? Alright, next so it looks like Too Faced. And then, oh no, jokes, Kylie in here is Fall in Love, three new high gloss shades this Valentine's Day. I am not a huge fan of her glosses, personally. So I'll pop those in a giveaway. These are how they look, like a red one, pinky one, and like a berryish kind of color. Okay, so we have something here from Huda Beauty. My goodness, what do we have in here? Cute little bag, which I can donate later. It says wishful on the side. <laughs> Wishful. Another mega bag, I love it. How cute is this? Be a cute toiletry bag for me. And then inside, oh, Wishful. This is the new skincare brand by Huda Beauty, which is so exciting. Her skin looked amazing in her before and afters. Infused with pineapple enzyme, papaya enzyme, HA, BHA, and cellulose for a healthy glow, retexturizing, brightening, and even skin tone. So, what is this? Enzyme scrub. I'm so going to try this. Um,. I do my microdermabrasion today because I forgot to do it yesterday. So I'll do that today. So I might try this close to the end of the week or maybe in like the start of a YouTube video. Or maybe even tomorrow. We'll see how my skin looks tomorrow morning after doing my microderm. So you can stay tuned on my Instagram for some sporadic giveaways. I'm going to do some later this month. We've got one more here. One of my favorite brands. You guys know. Close Up Nabla Weightless Liquid Foundation. They sent me like a top up or something. Ooh. This is one of my favorite foundations. They also sent a brush and a sponge and a bunch of different shades. That's quite cool. So they haven't sent a sample of every shade, just like a few random ones. So I will donate these because these will be good for like look good, feel better or something like that for them to do makeup um, makeovers on people. So you can see a few of the different shade ranges. This is not every single one once again. It's just 
a selection. Um, I might actually like keep one of the paler ones. I can't remember what shade I normally use, but like one of the darker medium ones and one of the lighter medium ones. I mean lighter light ones for when I'm traveling because these are so freaking cute. Like how good is that for traveling? Because there is 9.5 mil in here. So it's like a third of a normal foundation. That's still enough to like last ages. I'll go through those shades soon. But I'm going to donate most of them. And I'll donate these two. Slash I might do a giveaway with some of the like tools. So yeah, that's everything that just arrived. I also got some Stax Fitness workout gear, which I'll show you when I wear it in my vlogs and on my Instagram. I have a coupon code for Stax now. It's Shan10. And yeah, you can go on Stax website and they have the most <laughs> I've got the hiccups. They have the most amazing like workout gear. It's like pajamas. I don't know if you watch my new um workout gear haul, I showed some of it. But yeah, the black leggings have changed my life. They're so good. I think they're called like the best black leggings because people just love them. So anyways, I'm just going to make some quick scrambled eggs. I just honestly feel like a really simple lunch of scrambled eggs and avocado. So that's what I'm going to do. My meal planner asks for bacon as well or salmon. So I don't feel like bacon right now. Like I might add bacon to my dinner. Um... But I usually only have one egg on my plan, so just to make up for a few of those calories that I'm not having, I'm going to have two eggs. I'm just going to add a small dash of cream like that. I've never tried this before, but I'm going to add like literally the tiniest amount of parmesan. Oh, that's probably too much. Tiny amount of parmesan cheese. Sometimes I'll use like Colby or something and it's yum. But um, we've run out. We're getting some more later in the groceries. So, yeah. I'm gonna mix. And you guys know my favorite seasoning as well. Pepper. And a small amount of this. Garlic and salt by Master Foods. Garlic and salt. Garlic and herbs, salt. So I don't add extra salt. This is super salty, so go easy. Because it's super garlicky and yum an egg. It's also really, really, really yum on um, the vegetables and stuff like that, of course. But for some reason, I just love it in my eggs. So I'm just gonna have this and some avocado on the side. And you watch this. Is it actually on? Sometimes I, yeah it is. Sometimes I think it is, but I haven't actually got it lit. So this is gonna take no time at all. I'm gonna start my timer on my what? All right, started. So obviously add on like an extra 15 seconds or so. I'll show you how long this takes to cook. I've already got this cut. It's gonna have a half a avocado, but um, I had a quarter of it in my smoothie, so I'll just have the other quarter and then later I'll just have a little bit more at night time sometimes I'll flex my plan like I'll add calories from lunch into dinner or vice versa like if I'm feeling hungry at a certain time of day um, but I just make sure that I'm getting enough calories a day because you don't want to like go super under your calories that you're given because I'm already in like a slight calorie deficit as it is so if I go too low like I'm not nourishing my body I'm not getting enough energy I'm gonna feel like trash all of those different things so it's important that you do eat enough. I've fucked with my like hormones so much in the past by like not eating enough and then eating too much and all of these different things. So I just try to make sure I'm eating a similar amount of calories each day and eating enough for my body. And in the amount of time I took to chat to you just then, if my phone wants to pop on, it's been a minute 30. So it takes about two minutes to cook this. Perfect in the morning for breakfast or if you are like me and you can cook at home or cook in a kitchen atmosphere for your lunch and after this i really need to have a shower i feel gross right now i hate going to the gym and not showering straight afterwards i've got my avocado honestly like i had the most awful anxiety this morning i was so stressed about all the stuff i had to do like i wanted to cry in fact i did do a little cry i have the tendency to overreact to um like freak out get overwhelmed all those kind of things so i just had to kind of you know have a good chat with hamish and my mom and just come back down to earth and realize that everything is going to be okay and put a plan in place and i'm going to put some tabasco on my avocado because it tastes bomb got all this other stuff on too like obviously i don't tell you guys about every aspect of my life but you know, when my granddad passed away, I own the house that he was in, so we've been getting that all ready for renting out. 
doing it up a bit, putting a new carpet, painting all the walls, like just giving it a really good spruce up, a good freshen up. It was due for one anyway, um, and we thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to do that while no one's in the house. It makes it a lot easier, like rather than trying to have a tenant and be like, hey, you need to move all of your shit out of like all of the rooms for like a week while the carpenters do their thing. It was a good opportunity, so we've been dealing with that too. In fact, Hamish has been doing most of it, bless him. Um, he's really, really good with stuff like that. He's so helpful, so he saves me. Life goes on, everything's gonna be fine. It's just Monday. I'm just having this weird, stressful Monday where I'm just like, holy freaking shit. And I know what I need to prioritize today for editing and work and everything else can wait until tomorrow and the rest of the week because I need to do that with myself. I need to stop trying to push myself to do everything all the time. I know heaps of you guys are in the same position. Like you may not be um, like, like me on YouTube, self-employed from home or anything, but a lot of you guys are like mums and a lot of you guys do have your own businesses and work for yourself or like whatever your case may be. I know you guys could relate where you need to just realize that you can't do everything and you can't do everything all at once and you need to just give yourself a break and realize that, you know, things take time and you need to like take care of yourself. But it's ironic because like the more I take care of myself, I'm like, this is really good. And then like I start feeling guilty because I'm like not getting everything else done as well. But I need to get rid of that thought because that's wrong. We've only got one body, we've only got one life. We need to like make sure that we are okay because you know there's no point in doing all of these things if I'm you know not feeling good either. And the things that make me feel good are eating right and exercise and all of these things, making sure my house is like tidy ish. I know to a lot of your guys' standards, you'll be like, oh, your house is disgusting, but for me, you know, just having a bit of space and room to breathe and stuff like that. You know, we get so much shit all the time. I donate so much of it, but it still just stacks up and I just. Yeah, need to like get rid of it. This was really good. And that'll be why, you know, cleaning out our cupboard made so much sense as well. Still looking good. I've shuffled around some of my vitamins and things and we've stocked up on almond milk and stuff like that that we needed and some extra slender fettuccine and stuff. So yeah, it's all still just bad stuff down the bottom. But anyway, I feel like this vlog's gonna be pretty long at this point. So I might just say goodbye now. I know you guys like long vlogs. I feel like it's still long. What are you doing? No, no. You're not having any. He wants my eggs. I'll talk to you guys in my next vlog. Bye.